All right, we kind of cleaned out the greenhouse, moved some stuff in. What's left of the tomatoes they did get planted, they're looking homely. Oh, I didn't realize you are getting Forrest Gumpy short. So some of these tomatoes will go out to the outside in-ground garden, and some will be given away. Uh, these are peppers that we, we restarted because they didn't come up the first time. Well, we had to restart our ghost and cayenne because they didn't come up. My basil just brought it back inside from outside. It's being bitchy because it got too much rain. Some herbs that I need to get planted in my herb bed. So, but yeah, that's what's left to be planted. So, hello, Bee, I need to get you out. Uh, planted still. We've got buckets for these, so they've got a couple more weeks before we can put them in their buckets. So we've been kind of cleaning up. Uh, got, and there's Mark. Got flowers planted, some citronella. Got some, er, brought out some of the herbs that by seed. Only dill come up. Flowers. Herb beds, we haven't got to get those going. We were going to do today, but it's really windy, rainy, stormy. The blackberry bush that grew out of the root, it's getting better. The blackberry bush is growing. Mark's blueberries just got its little bells. Some of the older sage that we've had for several years, they look a lot better than they did a few weeks ago. They were in the greenhouse. Some more herbs. And as you can see, flowers, flowers, flowers. And Mark's spending his one hour a day in the garden. We bought a new gerba. Well, t two new gerbas because only two survived this winter. More herbs and flowers. Garlic part got moved there. Brought out one of the aloes, the one I got from Florida from my in-laws. It flowers. Some more flowers were waiting to pop up. Oh, those finally broke through. Those are my borge. So that's not a flower. It's a flower and an herb. All right. Uh, we're only doing one row of strawberries this year because we got pissed off last year. And they all died. So this little one here and that one will be herbs. The only time that survived the winter, sweet marijum, chives, and that will have more down there, more sweet marijum. And part of the tomatoes. <laughs> They're not in their final spots yet. We just put them out here. So we've got this row here, four Cherokee, two white. This row here is four black crim, three white. And this two rows here are Amish uh, paste. They look, they just look homely right now. They always do. And we've got the cucumbers started. Some were direct sow and some we started. Everybody's just kind of weepy and bitchy today. Uh, bee balm has popped up. Got the butterfly and bee bath going. Mark's gargoyles are waiting for their flowers. Got, oh, lavender going. So that's the garden look started. It's going. It's still ugly, <laughs> but it's that time. Now, some of these peppers, the old big tall ones, were the ones I had in the house. A few weeks before we were going to bring them out, half of them died, and these ones are the ones survivors. And these, as Mark puts it, these peppers here and this grouping, or we, we started, are they're, what are they called? Eats. Sherry's edibles. Sherry's edibles. Those are the peppers that I can eat. <laughs> and the ones that I can, are no eats are over here. So those are the start of the cayennes. Uh, this will be the ghosts and all the habaneros. Uh, we cleaned up the zucchini beds, got them planted. Got two yellow squash going. Uh, these four potatoes haven't popped, but we just noticed the, out of these two potatoes, just noticed we got one and two that pops. 
we planted four and we got two so far and that's where we moved the other garlics because we got them off the picnic table and my bee balm is all coming back i got to get that through the yard but it's just slowly but surely it started it's, so and then that big brown's going to stephanie and more flowers more flowers more flowers as yes more flowers so that's the update oh i've got three sunflowers that i've started yes arizona's have started but we added more mulch redid the mulch so that's why we haven't moved all the tomatoes back into their spots yet because i we were just planting and setting planting and setting so but that's it for the garden for now i'll update you once everything gets else gets planted and then sometime this week we're starting on the outside so give it a few months and i'll have fresh yummies bye